to import an image from a scanner into Photoshop and create a PDF using Photoshop. Watch this brief tutorial. In Photoshop CS6, go to File, Import, Images from Device. It automatically brings up all of the devices that are connected to the computer. You can probably hear the scanner warm, warming up, and you can also see the status here. It's working. This is a self-portrait. took me several hours to do. While this is loading the overview scan, note that it is on a flatbed scanner. Uh, you can set it to feed for some machines. Uh, it's in color. There's really no color in this one, so I could get rid of that. That would save me some um, file space. Millions of colors, again, if you want to edit that. Uh, less obviously means less information, therefore less information. Currently is set to 300 dpi or dots per inch. Uh, when it's imported into Photoshop, it will be in the digital world, which will be pixels per inch. The number is the same, um, but uh, it is actually a difference. A dot is printed, a pixel is for the digital world. Uh, but in the digital world, it would be 300 pixels per inch. And then uh, if you were to print this out, it would be 300 dots per inch, would be, which would be considered about the minimum for uh, a good high-quality image that's printed out. Now, if we were just going to leave this for the web, uh, we might consider bringing this in at 100 dots per inch because then it would be 100 pixels per inch and your typical high definition display is about you know 96 105 pixels per inch um, is is more than enough if you leave it at 300 and you put it let's say on the web um, you're basically it's sort of overkill and that uh, can make the load time really long which you probably wouldn't want to do most of us on the web tend to click around pretty quickly, so we don't want people to lose interest by a, a long load time. Uh, size, you can you know set the size here. You can turn that off if you want to use a custom size. Um, right now it's set to U.S. letter. There's the orientation. I set this to scan to my desktop. Here's the name I typed in. Um, usually that the default is scan. Um, format, as you can see, I could just quickly change it here to PDF, but in this case, we'll we'll go ahead and leave it at JPEG. I'll show you how to save it as a PDF. Um, no image correction or descreening. Descreening is if you're scanning in something, let's say that's been printed and has the screen or dots. Think about a newspaper, um, like the comic section, for example. Very often times, you can see the dots in what should be um, a continuous tone image. So in order to get rid of those dots, there is a technology built into most uh, scanning software which uh, de-screens it or gets rid of those dots. It tries to merge them together to make a continuous tone image. It does work pretty well. Um, it's not perfect though. Color restoration, kind of self-explanatory, adaptive lighting and sharpening. Also, if you uh, do not have a document already, you can create a new one, but if you do, you can put this new layer in frontmost document. So, overview is not scanning, it's giving you a preview of it's basically what we just saw. And I'll go ahead and hit scan. And after I press scan, you can see it's loading here. It's going to take a little bit of time because I did set it, the resolution to 300 dots per inch. You know, the, the higher the resolution, the better the quality, the um, more time it takes to import it. Once that's done, this window will actually not close. It'll just go behind Photoshop. <clears throat> In cases where you might want a higher resolution might be if you are, perhaps your output will be on a billboard, then you would want the resolution to be higher because you would need to make it the image bigger. Um, but in the end you would want it to print at 300 dots per inch in order to maintain that high resolution so it doesn't look pixelated or fuzzy.
Now, now that I'm here, this is actually a JPEG, so let me go ahead and save that. Save as JPEG to the desktop. Now, I've, I've already created this. And as you can see, I scanned one in already, and there's the one we just scanned in. It went ahead and gave it the number one, because it realized that there was already one on the desktop. Using the magic wand tool, uh, all of this white space is information um, that has been saved. Uh, if I select it using the magic wand tool and hit delete or the backspace key, it will automatically fill in a color. Um, I can even use my marquee tool, hold down the shift key and add to that selection to make sure there's no unwanted lines down here. Delete that. And then either hit um, the quick key for inverse, which on a Mac is shift command I. Um, on a PC, I believe it's Shift Control I, uh, or you can just go up to the Select menu and select the inverse option there, and then do the same thing. Hit the, uh, press a Delete key on your keyboard, and instead of changing it to white, let's go ahead and put black there, and uh, Command D, Control D, or Select Deselect. Let's go to File Save As change the format from JPEG to Photoshop PDF and um, well there is already one on the desktop so we'll change this one to My Self Portrait 1 save OK now I've got different options here smallest file size if I want to email it to someone or upload it to the web is usually a good idea um, press quality if you're going to send this to the press room um, high quality print, pretty much the same as press quality. Um, and then you've got these other different PDF options here. Uh, I already saved one for web or smallest file size. And if you want to go through these options, you can. Uh, you can definitely change these. And if you change anything, it turns, uh, let's change the compression. It changes the preset to modify. So let's go ahead and save the PDF. I do want to continue. You can see its status here, saving. We'll minimize this, go to our desktop. As you can see, it's still open in the background. We'll go ahead and close that out. And there's my self portrait one. Looks nice. And let's look at the JPEG. So you can see the JPEG, this is the original scan. Uh, nothing wrong with that, but as you can see, uh, using the, the fill there of black makes it really pop or stand out. Having said that, that is how we import from Scanner and then export it to as a PDF or save it as a PDF using Photoshop CS6.